Hi, this is Rob Sipes with Real Estate Professionals. I'm standing here in front of 1517 Hartford Square Drive here in Edgewood. This is a three bedroom, two full bath townhome. It's listed for 124. Your price is 62,000. Let's go in and take a look. So this house has been fixed up. So it's in pretty good shape. So we're entering the living room here. So it is uh, really in, it's, it's in really nice shape. You can see the hardwood uh, steps there, which are really nice. Give you a little peek at the floor. And that's just a closet there. And here we've got the kitchen. So the townhouse isn't huge, but it's, uh, for the price, it's really nice. And you can see the work that's been done, the walls, the floors, it's in good shape. It needs a little TLC, but it's really in good shape. Uh, you got the basement here. Uh, looks like there's been some new windows put in. Let's take a peek outside. So you got a nice little backyard there. Got a patio, which is nice. This is an end of group, as you probably saw when I did the introduction. We're gonna go downstairs real quick. This too is in good shape. The basement's been refinished. So it's a little hard to see, but we got a little light here. So here we've got a little closet space Basically, your meter and all that good stuff's in here. You can also put a little storage in there, use it as storage if you want to. And then right here, we've got a full bath. It's small, but it is a full bath, and it's down here in the basement. And then we're going to head our way back. It's kind of dark. So I'm just trying to get some lighting here for you so you can see. They plywooded up the walkout for safety. But I'm just trying to give you an idea of what this looks like. This is a nice little space here. It looks like it's about 8 feet wide by about 15, maybe 12 feet long. Which is a nice place to you know, put some furniture and sit and relax. And then under here, uh, some more storage. This is also where your furnace is. Your hot water heater. This is underneath the steps as you come down. And we're going to head back out. I'll give you another shot of this room. Like I said, it's about 8 by 12, 8 by 15, which is nice. And then uh, we'll head back out, a little more light. You can see it's kind of like a little hall kind of uh, pathway here. And then just to the right here, this is where your laundry would go. Here's your hookup. Uh, for your laundry. Now if you didn't want that sitting out exposed, you might be able to do something a little different. Maybe uh, put some bifolds on here or something, have this enclosed. Uh, and then uh, you can see the laminate floors down here, but this is in really good shape. It really is. So for $62,000, this is an excellent, excellent price. So we're gonna head back on upstairs. So we're coming up out of the basement. Again, here's the kitchen. Very nice size. You can see the cabinets are in really nice shape. And then we're going to head back through the living room. We're going to get a little different view. Now we're going to head upstairs. We've got three bedrooms upstairs. So as soon as we get to the top, we got a what I would call the master bedroom here to the right. There's your shot outside. So the master's in the back of the home. Nice, decent size here. So we're gonna head out of here. And uh, you can see it's really in nice shape here, good shape. And then we've got a hallway, and then we've got the bathroom to the right. 
average size bath, full bath. Then we've got the second bedroom. Now these two bedrooms are in the front of the house. We'll give you a peek outside. So you can see folks, this is in good shape. These walls and ceilings are in great shape. The floors are pretty nice. It needs a little bit of TLC, but not a whole lot. There's your linen closet, and then we swing to a little Yui. And here's the second bedroom in the front of the house. Now it's smaller. As I said, the windows look new. So this has definitely been fixed up. For $62,000, it's an absolute steal. And you don't have to do a whole lot to it. So I'm going to spin this around. So I would encourage you to put your bids in. I know there's not a lot of houses that become available up in Harford County. It's very rare and things have slowed down a little bit. So I would definitely encourage to, uh, you to put your bids in. Let's just do a real quick, let's just do a quick pan of the street here. Okay. Give you an idea of what you're looking at. And here's the yard here. The grass needs to be cut. That's HUD's job. But you've got a gate here that leads into your yard. So, really nice. So, folks, I would say put your bids in. This is a great deal for an end of group townhome in Harford County. 62000 You can't beat it. So, I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.